Hey guys, guys, welcome back to another Monster Gems video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Legends Pass monster. And on top of that, we have a new treasure cave, which I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know if the monster is actually worth picking up. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. Now, wait, 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 wait. All right, so don't skip this part because this part is actually kind of important. If you guys want your comments to be read out, be reviewed in a future either video or shorts, I'm, I'm, I haven't decided yet what I'm actually going to be posting it. And it could be shorts, it could be video, but later on in this week, I will actually announce something really exciting. So if you guys want me to go ahead and read out your comments, then I need you guys to comment down below in this video. Now, what I need you guys to comment down below is what do you guys think I'm gonna be sharing, okay? So you guys can go ahead and take your guesses. Uh, it could be, for example, I'm um, getting a new house or something. Well, definitely not for that. Uh, but anyways, if you guys have any, you know, random, uh, which you might call it guesses on what it's actually going to be, then uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, all right? So it's something, let me give you guys a hint. It's related to Multi Legends, all right? It's very exciting. Um, but I'm not going to spell out too much tea. So make sure to go ahead and, you know, leave out your comments and guesses in the comments. And I'll go ahead and possibly read those out in a future video or shorts. But anyways, guys, before, um, I, I just wanted to kind of like let you guys know about all that before we actually get into the video. But here's the thing, the new Golden Legends Pass, I actually didn't even notice. So they actually dropped this uh, when the tail actually dropped. So there's 14 hours remaining right now in the tail, tail challenge. And let me tell you, the tail challenge is, is, isn't... It's, it's been going pretty bad for me, honestly. I've, been, I've tried. I tried getting uh, this monster, but uh, I've, I've actually missed out on a couple of collections. I actually fell asleep, and I uh, that sleep actually turned into 12 hours of sleep. Not even just 8 hours, but 12 hours. It was crazy, right? Um, but anyways, yeah, so unfortunately I missed out on that collection. And then there was another collection, which I missed out on as well. So anyways, take a look at this, guys. We have Bad Gamel, all right? Bad Gamel. Okay, so this is the new Mythic. It looks pretty, uh, pretty interesting. What the heck is that design? What is he? Is he? What is he supposed to be? I don't know, guys. What the heck? It's a light and fire support with death count and hellfire negative back protection. Ooh, so it's a supporter with death count and skills. Interesting. So, uh, is this monster worth it? Well, let's take a look at the traits first of all. Now, the traits actually make a huge, huge difference in monsters. So, this is a fire monster right here. Let's see. We have resurrection block, which is really good. These other two traits aren't really the best. I really like the resurrection block. I think that's really amazing. That's awesome because uh, of the fact that Ural is so meta right now on, on PvP. Uh, I guess they're trying to kind of like take it down. I don't know. Maybe. But, uh, oh, wow. I, yeah, wait, hold on. I got hit with the new update. No, I haven't. I still have the old PVP. Um, that's interesting. Why does this player have access to this PVP? What? Yo, this, no, this, is this player cheating? Or is this, is this how the new uh, update's supposed to be? Look at this, guys. Godzilla has zero trophies. Or maybe that's just, like, they're, they're hiding the trophy. But then the, the trophy's right here. It says 9,129. So, is this a bug, glitch, or is this a new update? It's one of those three. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think this is. This player has zero trophies shown. Uh, obviously, the teams are hidden because this player probably has access to the new uh, update. But since he has access to the new update, shouldn't he be on the other PvP? Not this one? Uh, I don't know, guys. What the heck's going on? All right, so these other players seem okay. What about you, Monster Master? I think you have access to... Uh... Oh, you still have access to this PvP, not the, not the new one. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's quite interesting. This player is just all the way on the top like that. Anyways, guys. So let's um i actually kind of want to do some pvp but i also need to check out the new treasure key but before all that guys if you guys are wondering whether or not you should pick up this golden legends pass that's up to you i do like the resurrection block and block resurrection only i don't know about the skills much yet if you guys want me to do a analysis on it i can go ahead and do that gladly my relics are quite quite decent i actually like the relics um although it could have been better with uh with the revival sm in there but uh, other than that you know the the fire and light you know that's not bad for the current meta although that's not current meta like exactly but uh, most players are, are still running you know like uh some fire monsters so um obviously it's mainly just light and magic monsters that are dominating right now in my opinion uh but this uh these elements aren't actually that bad uh if you wanna if you wanna go ahead and um you know use a monster on pvp for example maybe on your team or team wars i'm not sure uh especially on pvp i would say to kind of uh counter euro for example uh, i'm not sure what 
players are going to be using on on team wars you could use it in team wars for example like anti-roll but that's, that's just in some cases i'm not sure what the monster has to offer to be honest so i'm not going to completely give you guys my like full full opinion because again i need to do a analysis on a monster first soon you know what i mean so i gotta take a look at full stats i gotta take, uh, take a look at uh i have to take a look at the skills the skills are very important and then uh, i'm able to basically kind of give my input i think it's important to at least cover the stats right let's go ahead and take a look at this monster stats uh let's go ahead and take a look at 150 uh, it doesn't matter 100 or 150 uh doesn't really make much of a difference um but uh, we have 40,064 strength, 21,920 speed. That's who's actually pretty good. 1.2 million life. Now, comparing that 1.2 million life with most of the monsters that are out now, honestly, monster could, uh, you know, could offer more, to be honest. Let me take a look at this, for example, 1.2314. So the life is a bit low, 1.22, right? The other one was three, and then this one, I believe, was four. Yeah, one, two, four. So the stats are not as good obviously would have been better now th that common storm has a little life too but um it's just that like his life could be better but you can always make it up with either uh providing speed with life or team speed with life for this monster whenever you're running him on your on your team also guys check out my shorts that i uploaded as well um i was actually able to breed a darman uh, uh from the current breeding event so take a look at this guys in the breeding log i have our cameraman uh, i was able to actually breed it which is actually awesome so what i'm going to do soon is do a review on it make sure you guys are subscribed to see that i'm super super um you know thankful that i actually was able to you know breed that because that's just awesome um but anyways make sure to check out the video on how to obtain the monster as well if you haven't already but let's go ahead and get into this treasure cave this treasure cave is kind of disappointing in my opinion hanko loyath used to be one of the best monsters in the game um, back in the Corrupted Era, this monster was dominating, you know, as a Megaton, this was the go-to monster, like literally the best of the best. When they released him, everybody started using him. They stopped using whatever monster that was meta in Cosmic Era or Original Mythic. For example, Armory Claw sort of died down. Uh, Bombita, you know, players were still using it, but Pangolite was better. Uh, it was basically the King Adam of the era, basically. Shelly, players were still using Shelly, but not as much as, obviously, uh, Pangoloya. Pangoloya was just dominating, I'm telling you guys. But, uh, yeah, there was even Cryocrawler, and, and the monster was just better than Cryocrawler because of the Megaton, what he actually had to offer. And, obviously, the talents. Don't forget about the talents, you know what I mean? Because in the Cosmic Era, they didn't even have talents. So, he started dominating like crazy. Uh, so, sorry, players just started using it. Uh, even, there was even Kenrai, for example, but players just didn't use Kenrai, to be honest. But, anyways, uh, yeah, the monster was pretty good back then, but now now is is important you know what i mean now if you like if you want to know like where the monster is actually worth uh picking up even though it's rank three i feel like they should at least put it to rank five that would be better players would actually at least attempt to get it because it's at rank five you know what i mean the monster is just almost useless if you are not a beginner this monster um which i might call it sucks for you like or players like me this monster sucks you know what i mean i i seriously don't want him um unless i could get him for maybe 10 or 15 gems that's about it i don't want to spend more than that on this monster seriously that is just it's just complete scam so let's see if we could at least make it to room 10 or above with only the five gems here okay so i'm just gonna go with pot three over and over again let's see if uh, actually we're able to avoid all these traps and make it through that room um so there we go guys i've only been going with pot three every single time and as you guys see we made it to room 10 we've only gotten hit with one trap which was room six and here's the other one do we want to keep going i don't know to be honest uh do we want to spend another 10 gems it's only 10 gems if i get hit with the 40 gems now i'm backing out uh so let's hope we don't actually get hit with that i do want at least 200 tickets before i back out so it would be nice uh, i'm kind of gambling right now yeah th this is not happening let's go ahead and leave and back out but anyways, we spent like, what, 15 gems? We lost 15 gems, unfortunately. But it's what it is. We we're just doing it for fun. The monster is not worth more than 15 gems, guys. Seriously. Even though it's rank 3, not worth more than 15 gems. If you're a beginner, this monster is amazing. It will help you out. Uh, get to, you know, get to whatever league you want. Let's say it, it could definitely carry you to at least silver league for sure. Yeah, silver 2 or silver 1 for sure. Uh, I'm not sure about like gold. Possibly gold 2, maybe. You know what I mean? But nothing above that, I feel like, unless you really, really try and you're, like, really active on PvP, then sure. Um, but for the most part, it should just get you through those leagues that I mentioned. Um, but anyways, we're going up against another player, Lamuna. Uh, okay, so Lamuna, Great Tulu, 
players are still using this this combo what the heck i thought this combo died down all right guys so let's see what we can do here lamuna all right and i'm gonna do we do kath no yeah no let's do let's do yeah let's do kath and we'll do this so i can get my what should i call it awakening so what kind of damage do I have again? I have 25 and 50. Cool. And I have a water hater. One of them is water element. Let me go ahead and gain control over this battle. Thankfully, none of them have... What should I call it? Now, they might actually have that one talent that clears everything. Yeah, I was going to say. But they didn't have a trait like the stable block you know what i mean the block rate whatever it's called um you guys can correct me in the comments i'm gonna do this so i can gain some damage boost now i believe that cancels it out yeah the 50 percent damage reduction less that kind of cancels it out and i get basically 150 more so i could do my aoe damage here because this monster just has taunt the mega taunt went away there we go we clear out everything those two come back and it's okay um i do have my cath the cathalan uh you know skill that i can actually use if the monster doesn't die right here so never mind okay that just clears it out GG's. You're always that too. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because this is in Team Wars. We don't, we don't have to worry about, you know, losing a coin or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get that tier 5 and start unlocking that. Let's get into another battle. I saw Elvira. Let's see what this player is setting up. Elvira, Bashir, and that monster. Okay, so is this a new setup? Because I did, I've been seeing Elvira here and there, even in the top PvP. So are players starting to use that one? Or what's up? We'll do more damage boost, get the awakening. What do I have? I have Arden Hater, right? Uh, umbrella hater do i not i don't have my umbrella hater this time what the heck okay oh, oh wait that the umbrella hater actually comes with the uh triple damage actually whoops i'm sorry i i forgot guys i forgot all right so triple damage unfortunately only comes with that and now it would be pretty pretty op if you could actually give it in with the bolstered hatred is that how i think that's how you pronounce it if that skill actually give you the umbrella hater that would be even more op can you guys imagine like you're starting off with an umbrella hater which is technically a triple damage you're gonna you're also gaining 50 percent and 25 percent damage boost and plus on top of all that um doesn't he so he gets pierced, and I, I'm not sure if he gets any other damage boost on top of that from his awakening. But that is some pretty OP stuff. Now, I want to see if they actually updated the battle pass as well or not. Yeah, they did. There's a new battle pass, guys. The Tradex uh, Sentinel. I actually saw this in the leaks. Interesting monster. I do want to take a look at what he has. Okay, so he has water and nature element. Uh, it's an attacker, and shield, poison, and toxin skills is what he has to offer. I do want to take a look at the traits real quick, because the traits are quite important. So... If I'm not mistaken, he's actually water. Uh, he has 32% life shield only to himself. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, this monster is terrible, guys. Don't invest in it. The Battle Pass monster sucks. The Golden Legends Pass, on the other hand, I do like the block resolution traits. And I do like his little description, what he has, um, what he says right here. But honestly, I'll have to see the skills in order for me to actually decide. But anyways, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Also, before I end the video off, guys, um, about the Monster Week. I do, I did kind of want to make a video on it, but then at the same time, I was like, the most recent Monster Week video that I made, basically, I keep the same exact opinion. Uh, I just want to carry over the same exact uh, opinion over for this one. So if you guys want to check out my most recent Monster Week offer uh, video that I actually posted like less than a month ago, make sure to check that out. You know, go ahead and uh, watch that video to le let yourself know which monster to actually pick up. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Peace out.